Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Molly and today I'm so excited that we're doing my what I want for Christmas video because I think that this is overdue. I'm actually filming this like over a week before I'm posting it but you know what it's okay. I'm not sure exactly when I'm posting this video to be honest but I know that Christmas is not far away so you might need Christmas list ideas you might not. I want to share my list with you guys and then some also like ideas that you could put on your list. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna give you guys a little bit but I want to show my list simply because I'm only asking for eight things this year, which it's not a lot, but like it's also like a good amount of stuff I ended up creating this when I was in school like in my one of my classes a couple weeks ago And I made it on canva So you're gonna see like the slides as they come up Th These are like the intro slides the all I want for Christmas and then like I don't know the template the basic template But we're gonna move on to like my list. We're getting like right into it. Christmas is almost here I love Christmas. It's so fun Obviously not about the gifts, but it is like a good part of it for American tradition Like I said, I'm not asking for a ton this year and mainly that's that's because I'm a college student that lives in like an off-campus apartment. That alone is like great to me. I don't need a lot more stuff. I, whenever I usually need something, I just order it and I'll grab it or pick it up like, and I'll have it right when I need it. And I do that kind of often. So I don't really need much when it comes to Christmas time anymore. This list is kind of more like big items, I guess, that I don't want to splurge on myself and just something for me to open, I guess, because my family loves watching me open gifts, obviously. That's like my explanation I guess but my first item that I would like to get is a new camera this camera is not bad but the audio on it is not the best and there's plenty more cameras that have good audio I also don't want like a microphone on it because that will make me not vlog whatsoever in public I'm already scared to never mind with like a big audio mic and stuff so I'm asking for the Sony ZV-1 camera the camera that I'm using is the Canon G7X which it's it's a good camera but there's also like some issues with it I honestly don't know how this Sony one's gonna work but I want to try a different brand. My camera now, the lens cover, so like when you turn the camera on, it's supposed to open and show the camera itself, like where it films you, but it gets stuck, so I have to manually open it, and then the screen gets smudged, which is frustrating, but also underneath the layers of like glass for the camera, like on the lens it's called, pretty much, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really good with camera terms. I'm doing my best to explain. Dirt gets caught inside, and you can't clean it, and that's frustrating, because then it like makes the image not nice, and when you're in the sun, you can see the specs on the lens. So that itself is frustrating, but I guess this is the habit. It doesn't happen with this camera. So we're gonna try this one out. I guess the audio is much better. I also got it in white and I have, it has like the little wind cover for the sound on the top, which I'm actually excited to see. I think it's gonna get kind of cute. I don't know, it's an all white camera. It kind of looks more like a film camera and down in Savannah, those are popular. So I don't think it'll be as awkward for me to pull, pull this one out. I love my camera now with the pink case on it and that makes it not as awkward, but I don't know still. Anyways, I would like that camera. That's my first wish, long explanation. The second one, my self care planner. I actually, my aunt asked me what I wanted and I gave her this. I just need a new planner. If you watch any of my other videos, I love this planner. I haven't been using it while I'm home because I left it at school because I don't really use it when I'm here and I don't want to go like a week without using it. It's really great for like school because I'll have like plan my day out by time and then I'll have my to-dos and it's just like a great planner. I love it. Then I also really want the tumbler from Simple Modern. I'm not into the name brand water bottles. Yeah, they're probably great, but the Simple Modern brand on Amazon is absolutely amazing it's better than any hydro flask or like nice water bottle i've ever had like literally my favorite ever so they have like the big tumbler and the only reason i think they're kind of like tacky looking to be honest but i do want it because it will fit in my car and also like i'll drink more water when it's like a tumbler cup like with a straw so it has a handle i don't know i don't love the look of it but i think it's more practical for me to like drink water and stuff i could probably carry it with me to class but i'll probably still use my water bottle i don't know we'll see i'll be walking a lot so who knows but yeah water bottle okay and then the next, I really want the hatch alarm clock. And mainly because I have like chronic migraines and I've been treated for them for years. Every single morning, I always set an alarm because I always want to be up. My alarm is just so loud that it gives me a headache the second I wake up. So I'm like, this is annoying. So I've heard about all these like alarm clocks that wake up with light. Honestly, I feel like that'll be perfect because I tend to wake up with the light anyway. So I want one of these alarm clocks. Plus this one says the time on it. And I have nothing in my room that says like the time anywhere. So I have to like check my watch and stuff. So I feel like it's gonna be better for me. Okay, the next are a couple products. Almost done here, I have four things left. Sorry, I'm gonna put my leg up. It's more comfortable sitting on the ground. So the next one is the Summer Fridays Dream Oasis Serum. And my skin's so dry. I want like a serum, I don't have one yet. So I'm excited for this to try it out. And I also want something for like, I know I probably should use oil, but like when I dermaplan my face, I feel like this would not, wouldn't be bad. But anyways, deep hydration for like the winter time is gonna be perfect. And then I want a retinol serum. So I actually, my list has kind of adjusted 
it's lightly since I made it, but I actually did not want it. Like, I'm not getting this anymore because my mom gave me like a retinol cream. But anyways, I wanted like a retinol serum. That's a good thing on your list too. It's actually somewhat good for acne. So like draw stuff out. It's also good for aging. Many benefits for your skin. Then I want the JVN Complete Pre-Wash Scalp and Hair Treatment Oil. I feel like... I take care of my hair. Like, I have healthy hair. I do dye it, but like, it's still pretty healthy. Like, it doesn't, the, the bleach hasn't really damaged it too badly. But my scalp kind of needs some help. It's not awful, but like, I don't have dandruff. Oh, I guess so. It's like a dry scalp, right? It's just like when I don't wash it enough or something. Like, it needs a good exfoliation to like really scrub out any dry, like, dead skin because obviously your head's gonna have dry skin like your, the rest of your body. I want like something to like really cleanse everything out before you shower and like wash your hair so I, like a once a week serum and this one sounded really good so i'm excited for that and then also the glow recipe bha aha salicylic serum whenever i use a scrub i'm supposed to use like those ingredients after i do my scrub to like really like soak into my skin so i wanted that to use after i use a scrub and i also wanted like refills of products that i already had which i didn't put on this list i don't think i want my Laneige stuff anymore i'm gonna try the summer fridays cream and i actually did pick up some of these products already for Christmas and I didn't know like I don't remember what I grabbed but I'm pretty sure everything was the same besides I don't know I grabbed some other stuff so that's all in there you'll see it when I do my Christmas video like I have a simple list I don't need much I know some of these are more expensive so that's why it's like very limited this year and my mom said she might pick me up a suitcase if we see one because mine is currently the wheels don't work and I use that thing to come home so that's kind of kind of a necessity so we don't know but I did write some stuff down that would be good I'm not asking for any sort of clothes simply because I have a ton i already don't have enough space for them at school and it's not like i'm gonna take them home so we're gonna kind of go over what i have on my list so clothes are on there obviously i'll show you i'll go into depth in that in a second but i kind of did it more it's kind of like geared towards like college students almost because like this is stuff that i would like and also it's like kind of necessity i guess you could say if you're a college student it's always like so nice to ask for like refills of your product shampoo conditioner body wash literally toothpaste toothbrushes maybe like an electric toothbrush for example face washes any like skincare product which I'll go a little more in detail in. So like those kind of refills are great. I mean, I can't take a lot of stuff back with me because I was already overweight when I came here. Anyways, I can't take a lot of stuff back. That's why my list is also so small. Okay, lounge and clothing kind of things. Those are really in like lounge clothing, workout clothing, casual, just like chill or like everyday basics. Like all those vibes are very popular. And I feel like that's something that's not gonna go out of style because they're just basics. I don't know. I feel like what type of clothing it is always changes, but like I say just get what you want so you don't have to keep buying stuff every year because that's frustrating so i'm trying to buy more stuff that i would wear constantly like i just wear sweatshirts and leggings a lot when i'm here but in georgia i wear cuter outfits so it's like kind of a different like atmosphere like either way i'm not going to change size anytime soon like i'm fully grown so just like buy basics that you always use style in different ways like have fun pairing different things together i'm trying to get a lot better at that obviously lulu leggings and like the scuba sweatshirts are really popular i just have some leggings and i have sports bras from them and tank tops so that's really it i have a lot of workout clothes from lulu because i really do like their quality of them specifically some of their sports bras that i got on sale and i really like their tank tops like with the built-in bra not the align ones the other high neck ones those are so comfortable to work out in for me fabletics fabletics is one of my favorite brands ever literally none of this is sponsored i'm just saying how much i love some of these brands i love fabletics they have the best workout clothes ever them and lululemon are pretty good but like honestly fabletics is better because it's a little more affordable and like they're via like membership thing is amazing so i love their spandex shorts to work out in so comfortable and they look flattering i don't like long spandex like i hate biker shorts like i like short spandex so just because i'm used to that from cheer they have really nice like comfortable and like supportive sports bras and stuff i love them i've never had anything from skims or aritzia but i know those are two really popular brands right now i know skims has so many basics like t-shirts and like stuff like that like really really simple like under clothing i don't know they have like dresses and stuff too i think never bought anything from them but i think a lot of people really like it and it's great quality apparently i don't know just saying aritzia i know has like a lot of like really nice essential like basics again but like nice quality and i i went in the store when i was in at the prudential center in boston and it was really nice but i didn't really need anything because i it's a lot of work I feel like it's like business casual kind of thing like just like businessy clothes which i will definitely start shopping there once i'm going to college and i need workwear like that but i don't know they had like puffers and stuff too but again i don't need that stuff right now so if you want 
wants that kind of thing i think that would be great great quality too and i know like workout other workout places like aloe and gymshark are really great i personally love workout clothes and i'm trying to get better at working out more frequently than i do i think workout clothes are a really great gift to get because who doesn't like a cute workout set to work out in okay then keeping with like clothing kind of stuff i'll move on to like shoes so any type of like new sneakers are always like amazing whether it's like running shoes or like fun sneakers like the nike i don't even know i'm not really into like shoes a ton i don't have any pairs like i don't really care too much i just care about like if it is comfortable and good for my feet because you're standing on them i literally put inserts in my shoes to make them more comfortable so like get comfy shoes not just cute new sneakers are always great depending on what you want them for obviously the most popular thing right now is like the ugg slippers and like the mini boots whatever they are i used to have uggs and i used to wear them when they were not popular literally senior year of high school i would wear them to cheer no one did they're copying the trend now and now i'm not gonna wear them because they're too popular again okay then some other i'm gonna do some random things and i'm gonna go into like beauty so headphones those are great i know a lot of people love like the ear like the full-on earphones i don't know what they're called like the beats maybe or like even the apple ones are nice personally i don't use them i just like like my airpods those are great for me any sort of home decor kitchen decor kitchen essentials anything like that if you live on your own or even if you're in college those things are great because like you don't want to buy them yourself really anything that you need and you don't want to buy yourself like kitchen stuff just like stuff like that is like great to get as a gift books i love reading i know not a lot of people do or not everyone does i should say and i love reading i would always love a good book i don't like reading on a kindle or like digitally i like a physical handbook and it's just more fun and it calms me down at night i don't want to look at a screen before i go to bed always i've been bad about that lately but there are so many different ones everyone likes something different i personally like murder mysteries and like that kind of vibe i don't like romance books i think they're so cheesy and so repetitive i hate them and i love self-help motivational books kind of like that i'm reading like one about money right now so i don't know it's just like educational and they're interesting and it gives you something to do other than either school or work whatever you're in puzzles i'm gonna say that because because I love puzzles. I'm doing one right now. I'm going to finish it after this video. But I like puzzles a lot. Those are always fun. But those are like my general things. I'm not good at coming up with gift ideas for everyone. Because like I like things. But not everyone does, you know? Beauty. Any type of skincare. Skincare is so big right now. Just like taking care of your skin to not have to wear so much makeup to clog your pores and everything. I don't, there's so many different things you can get. I love the brand Summer Fridays. Low Recipe is also great. I know Drunk Elephant is very popular right now. Don't get me wrong, I think they're nice, but for me it's a little bit expensive. Yeah, those are my main couple brands right now. I'm really loving Summer Fridays. I also like an ice roller is always nice to ask for. Just like any type of like face roller, it's just so relaxing to do in the morning. Having like a full skincare routine maybe like eye patches any type of serum masks those are so fun just like any type of skincare really just like go browse sephora take some pictures of things you like put it on your list and then a gua sha too i know those were popular back in like 2020 but apparently they really do help your face and then makeup i know there's a lot of popular products right now like rare beauty like the blush and obviously charlotte tilbury i don't even know i don't even watch tiktoks anymore like I'm trying to not watch them so much because they're just like crazy. But literally any type of makeup product, anything you want refills of, things like that. I don't know, good primer. I don't really have a good primer. So that would be nice and like setting spray, like things you don't really think about too often. Brows, eyes, anything you want. I love Thrive Cosmetics. That's one of my favorite brands. I really do like Rare Beauty. They're not bad. Um, just yeah, really anything you really like. And then hair, dry shampoo, like texture spray, things like that that you don't like typically pick up yourself. Or like special shampoo conditioners, like purple for me, like blondes, like those kind of things, or like masks, or also like scalp treatments. Like I put that on my list. Treatments or oils, depending on what your hair needs. Those are really fun to do. And lastly, going off of beauty. It's just the last thing I would like recommend asking for, any type of gift cards. If you wanna just go shopping on your own, ask for a gift card. Food, I would say they're the biggest ones to get people or to ask for yourself or like gas food or gas fast food you can even ask for like groceries if you're a college student that would honestly be not bad like i shop at Publix now so like you can't really get a gift card for that anywhere up here because i'm up north now like coffee just like gift cards like that that's like such a great thing you can get someone because they don't have to pay for their groceries one time or like one of their meals maybe they're having a bad day and they just want something to eat you got them a gift card or you got a gift card for i don't know taco bell or something like or sonic i had that recently when i was back in georgia because they don't have those up north it was so good yeah, just like things like that. Just honestly, like just think of the person and think of things they like. And honestly, I need to take that advice because I don't know what to get my family. I got my mom something and my brother something. I don't know what to get anyone else. We need to think about that. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope the recommendations were helpful. I kind of talked a lot about my list and then I tried to help some recommendations, but I'm honestly terrible at thinking of like list things unless I want them. And honestly, I don't really want or need anything right now. Oh, candles. Candles are another thing off topic.
topic but yeah that was my whole video for today i hope it was helpful hope it was interesting i hope you guys liked it i guess i will see you guys on my next video bye guys